I mean, that story was a little but sus to me. I know, right? But there's no proof. Ugh, why you always? I'm so sorry, Maddie. My name is Madison. We're not that close. I'm so sorry. Ugh, forget it. So stupid. She's so beautiful. I wish I could make her mine. Maybe I should try that thing. After school at a sus shop. Hi. Hi. How can I help you? I've heard that there's a thing here that can help me. Let me guess. You want to make a person love you? How do you know? That's not something that I can explain to you. Okay, so what do you have for me? I don't have love potion, but I have this pill. What can it do? If the girl in your dream take this pill, her mind will become a blank in about 10 minutes. What can I do with that 10 minutes? Just let me finish. In that 10 minutes, you can tell her anything. She will believe it. For real? I have 10 minutes to recreate her memories. Yes. Shut up and take my money. How much do you have? Will you sell it? You tell me how much for it. Our products are not in listed price. We only take cash. You have to pay me with all the cash you have in your pocket right now. I have only $40. Then that will be all I need. Okay, here. Before I give this pill to you, I want you to know there's a warning. You need to make up a reasonable lie or else she will realize the truth easily. Yeah, yeah, whatever, give me that. Now, now I need, I to, need come to come up with a, with a plan, plan for, her for her to her take, take this, this pill. pill. The next day at school. There she is. Oh, she's wearing a new bag. I should spill this coffee on her bag. Oh my freaking God, what's wrong with you? This is my new bag. Are you blind or something? I am so, so, so sorry. How much is this bag? Ugh, I don't want to be a bad guy, so listen. Please stay away from me. If you see me anywhere, go another way, got it? I understand, but can I pay for the bag? I want to do something. No need. Just please leave us alone. It's not a too expensive bag, but you don't seem like someone can pay for it. Lucky for you, she is generous. Maybe I can buy you a coffee. I said I don't need anything. I can do anything. Maybe I can be your slave for a day. I can do chores. You are so pathetic. But wait, I really need someone to clean my room. Yeah, yeah, I can do it. Ha, huh? if you want to do it so bad. Yeah, I want to do it. Okay, then come with me to my house after school. Okay, thank you. I mean for giving me a chance to apologize. Whatever. Nice. After school, at Madison's house. Okay, here's my room. I need you to clean everything. And don't you dare to steal something or do something creepy in here. Got it. Axel cleans Madison's room in two hours. Well done, I should go downstairs to tell her. Wait, I almost forgot the reason why I'm here. Okay, she has a bottle of water in here. I'll put the pill in there. Hey, have you done? Oh yes, I have. I was about to go find you and tell you. Okay, now leave. Your voice sounds weird. Is that because you have been talking on the phone for two hours straight? For real, it sounds weird. Yeah, maybe have some water. Let's see if it helps. Okay. Now try to speak again. Maddie? Hello? Nice, the pill has worked. Okay, listen Maddie, you love me so much. And you asked me to be your boyfriend. I said yes. And now we are a happy couple. Of course your friend Zoe doesn't like me, but you doesn't care about her. Maybe you will try to make her like me too as a friend, of course. Should I add something more? Oh, I am the one who understand you more than anyone. Well, maybe that's it. Now maybe I should just wait. Ten minutes later. Um, I feel like I has just gone numb for a second. Lol, my brain sometimes doesn't work, babe. What? What did you just call me? What? Are you joking with me now? You are my babe, duh. Oh, right. How you must be tired now, baby. Yeah, do you want to stay over tonight? Why? Because I miss you. I feel like I haven't met you for ages. Hum, somehow I forgot. How long have we been dating? We haven't celebrated an anniversary, right? Yeah, we have been dating for three months. Anyway, I can't stay over tonight. I need to go see you tomorrow at school. Wait. OMG, I can't believe it worked. She's now mine forever. I'm so happy. My heart is pounding. The next day. Hey, babe. Oh, hi. What, babe? Uh, Zoe, I know you don't like Axel, but he's my boyfriend now, okay? Since when? Since three months ago. What the? Look, be nice to him, okay? What the hell is going on now? Babe, I want to see you after school. Of course, anything for my girl. What happened yesterday at your house? Nothing. Axel just helped me to clean my room. 
This is so crazy. Girl, you are crazy. Shut up, Zoe. You were annoyed by him yesterday. Now looking at you, calling him babe and stuffs. Are you even sober? I have never been mean to him. I love him. Are you? Ugh, I can't. Shoot, will she make Maddie realize? I'm out of here. I'll talk to you later. I am so sorry, babe. I never want you to experience this. It's okay. I don't why Zoe doesn't like you. Well, don't worry. I'll make her like you one day. Yeah, let's go to class. Later that day? Maddie girl, I need to talk to you. What? What happened yesterday? Did Axel do something to you when I was at your house? What do you mean? He's a gentleman. I doubt that. Look, I asked him to stay the night. He said no. Wow, you asked him to stay the night? Girl, there is definitely something is wrong with your brain. Excuse me. You have never liked him. Well, clearly you don't know me that well. Hi, girls. Hi, Otis. Hi. I would love to talk to you guys, but I have to find my boyfriend. What? Don't act so surprised, Otis. Is she being real? She has a boyfriend now? Um. Can you tell me what's going on? I thought that there's something between us. I know, Ugh. She likes you. But clearly she has a boyfriend now, and who even is that? Do I know him? It's Axel. What? I thought she doesn't like him. He's the weird and clumsy guy who is always bumps into her and spills things. Yeah, that Axel. This doesn't make any sense. Okay, now you see the problem. I need your help. Help what? Yesterday, Axel spilled his coffee all over Maddie's bag. I know that. Yeah, and he wanted to do something about that, like pay her back or something. But Maddie said no need. Okay. But he insisted. Weird. I know, right? He said he would do anything. And she was like, I need someone to clean my room. He was happy to do it. Dang. And after he cleaned her room, she behaved like this? Exactly. You understand the situation now. He must have done something to her. How was your day? Not so good. What happened? Nothing. It's just we're not in the same class. And that make me feel sad. A baby. Should I switch class? No, it's fine. I'll make sure to spend time with you every day. You promise? I promise. I just feel like we have never actually spent time to each other. Stop thinking about that baby. It's different now. Do you want to go to my house after school? Of course. A few months later. Hey, you know what? What? Willow is back in town. Oh, really? Why didn't she tell me? I think you should ask her that in person. That's weird. She always tells me when he's back visiting us. At a cafe. Hi, Willow. Hello. Um, who is this? I want to introduce you. This is my boyfriend, Axel. Axel, I thought you hate this boy. What are you talking about? I love him. Um, babe, who is this? Oh, I'm sorry. This is my best friend since childhood. Her name is Willow. I thought Zoe is. Yeah, Zoe knows Willow too. OMG, I tell Willow everything that happens in my life. Even when she had moved away. We still talk every day. Hmm, that's why I am here, Maddie. You haven't texted me for months. What? Yeah, right. Why haven't I texted you? Ugh, I have a slightly headache. And Zoe has told me that you're really, really weird lately. Ugh, it's because she doesn't like Axel. But she likes everyone you like, remember? I know, right? She acts like I have never told her I like Axel. Have I told her that? Um, I think you're having a bad headache, babe. Sorry, but I think we should go. Why so hurry? I, I mean, we have to go. Let's go, babe. Yeah, I think I should take a nap when we reach home. You should drink more water, too. Goodbye, Willie. Bye, Maddie. Yeah, I think you are right. That Axel boy is very shady. He is so creepy, isn't he? Not creepy to me, more like a pathetic dude. He's taking Maddie home. I think you should keep an eye on him. Got it. Baby, will you stay with me? I'm so sorry, but I think I have to go if something came up. No, I want you to be here with me. Sh take a nap and I'll make it up for you tomorrow, okay? Promise. Promise. I need to ask you something. Oh, hi, my old friend. I'm not your old friend. I bought a pill here once. Of course, I remember you. Now, what's become your trouble? I think I have made a small mistake. I didn't know she has another best friend. And that best friend is talking things that makes her headache. Oh bro, I've warned you, you should make up a reasonable lie. What do you mean? I just told her that she loved me and wanted me. But without the pill, does she likes you? Do her friends like you? No. Yeah, you could have bought pills for all her friends. Or, 
Tell her that. You're starting to love me, right? Shut up. Now what can I do now? Can I buy two more pills? Can't. Someone came and bought all of them. Must be a smart one. Well, come back in two days and make sure your girl won't get any more headaches. Headaches mean she's confusing or realizing something. At Maddie's house? Who's there? Um, why are you here? We need to talk. Um, okay. Are you sure that you love Axel? Ag, if you want to talk shit about him again, please leave. I still have those texts you send me and tell me you hate a boy whose name is Axel. Remember the bag that Axel spilled coffee on? Remember how angry you were then? We were having something, remember? More specific, bro. Um, I like you and you like me too, I guess. Ouch, my head. Anyway, can I ask who bought all of the pills? You know them. You mean, shoot. Baby, what is? Babe. Thanks God. Baby, what? That's what I have been calling you. WDF. You're late. We've helped her to bring back her memories. You should have listened to the seller's warning. Are you disgusting filthy little shit? To make sure Axel wouldn't do the same anymore. They forced him to take a pill and told him that he has never liked Maddie or known about the sus shop. Since Axel doesn't have any friends, no one can help you to remember what happened. About Madison, she has to see a therapist, just like Ezra's audience after watching Ezra's cringe Roblox story. The end. Rowan, we need to talk. Yes, babe, what's up? Is everything all right? Yeah, I just wanted to tell you something, and that is I want to break up. Huh, but why? I just want to break up, okay? Oh, okay, I guess. Ma'am. I'm so confused. We were doing just fine. Maybe I should go ask Naily. She might know. Hey, Naily, can I ask you something? Hey, Rowan, did I do something? Ha, <laughs> no. I just want to know something. Oh, okay. What is it? Do you know why Cameron broke up with me? Wait, she did that? I'm guessing you have no idea. Yeah, I don't, Rowan. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. Emma, go play something. I'll tell you if Cameron says anything to me. Thanks, Naily. I need to clear off my mind. What should I play? Oh, Drew is playing. Emma, join him. Hi, Drew. Oh, hey, Rowan. I need to tell you something. Um, what is it? Well... Baby, what is he doing here? No, what is she doing here, Drew? And why is she calling you baby? She's my ex. Rowan, listen, she's my girlfriend now. No way. Rowan has left the game. I'll go talk to him. This is unbelievable. Rowan, what the hell was that? The hell was what? Be happy for me. Gosh, you're being immature. You really have the nerve to tell me that? A friend does not get with their friend's ex the same day they break up. Rowan, let me be happy. I'm gonna get with your ex. What the hell, Rowan? She's my ex and I'm still not over her. Exactly. So how come you think it's fine when you do it? Okay, fine. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to break up with her then. Then you're not sorry. I love her. Dude, you're not even know her name until I introduced her to you three days ago. And don't forget you're not over your ex. You don't get it. Me? You are the one that doesn't get it. You know what? Bye. Do not come back after you all don't last. Ha ha, I won't, dude. Excuse me. Excuse you? I fell in love with his friend. It's not a big deal. You cheated on him with someone you met a few days ago. Why are you going to keep judging me? I mean, what you did was dumb and stupid. So yeah. Naily. Oh, you know already, right? Yeah. Why are you still friends with him? You should have dropped him the moment we broke up. I mean your little boyrian got with his friend's ex-girlfriend. And if you see no problem with that then I see no problem with this. Exactly. Well, drop him now and let's go girl. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not friends with people like you. And just so you know, cheating on a long-time relationship with someone you've known for a few days isn't worth it. Shut up, it's my life. Yeah, yeah, bye. Months later. Rowan, would you be my boyfriend? Oh my god, yes. I've been waiting so long for ask you out. Really? Yeah. But now you take my chance. Ha ha. Cameron has joined the chat. Girl, I've been looking for ways to text you ever since. But you had me blocked everywhere. So I made this new account so I could talk to you about everything that happened. And I want to know if you could forgive me. I'm really sorry. 
wasted your time to be honest. I don't care about you nor I want to know anything. So just leave. You don't get it, Rowan. You messed up. You left me for someone you barely knew. Everything that happened was your fault. And I know you don't mean anything you are saying. You tried to reach me right after Drew left you. Exactly. You're only sorry because you don't want to be lonely. Whatever, I'll go find someone better than you. What was she even thinking? For real, Elameo. Some weeks later. Stop playing hard, babe. Do not call me babe. I know you want me, you. Disgusted me. Babe, huh? What is he doing here? I'm her boyfriend. Oh my god, babe. He is not. He keeps calling me babe and doesn't want to leave. I'm better than him, you know it. Disgusting. I give you three seconds. You get your ash out of here or I'll appear at your front door in real life. Let's go, babe. Egg. Hey, brother. Hey, Aaron, what is it? Please add me to your GC, please. Please, please. No, I already told you. My friends are all much older than you. We wouldn't have anything in common. Do it now, or I'll tell them you're mean to your bro. I'm not even. i uh, whatever. They'll just kick you straight away anyways. Add me, add me, add me, add me, add me. Okay, I am. Shut up. Hey guys, I have to add my little sister to the chat before he makes up some lie about me. I'm warning you now, he's annoying. Okay, lol. Okay, man. Ryan has added Aaron. Hey, stupid brother. Stop. Hey, guys. I'm Aaron and I'm 15. No, you're 10. Oh my god. Haha, <laughs> what? Yeah. Who oh, am I meant to put that? Hey, you. I'm um, what? What's your name? A uh, Francis. I'm Brooks. I'm Ryan. We, we know. know. Oh, yeah, lol. Well, guys, do you want to play? Yes. MM2? Yes, sure. Okay. They join. Sheriff. Murderer. Innocent. Innocent. Can Francis. <laughs> Sheriff wins. Oh, that's what you get for kindling my Francis poo-poo. You what the hell, bro? Don't say that to me, please. I'll kick you if you say that again. If you kick me, you will see what happens. What's gonna happen then? Uh um. That's what I thought. Guess we will kick him. Wait, don't. I'm sorry. You have one last chance. Ugh. I'm gonna go. By Francis he was Oni. I told you he was annoying. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Bru. Anyways, while he's not here, wanna arrange a date we can meet up? Yeah. What about my house? Oh my god, perfect. I'll sneak there too. Do you want to meet today? Yes, sure. What time? At 10. Sound good. Ugh, that's, that's past, past my, my bedtime. bedtime. I'll, have I'll have to sneak, sneak out. out. Are we gonna stay over at your house? If you want. Okay, well, I'm gonna get ready. See ya, guys. Same, see ya. Okay, perfect. I'll just sneak out and hide in my brother's car when he leaves. Then I'll finally be able to see my Francis who in real life? I need to get ready. Well, I look so good. Francis will be so impressed. Ugh. Now you have to wait for him to get ready and leave. Two hours late. Okay, he's leaving. I need to sneak into his car. Um, Aaron, what are you doing up this late? Um, ah, uh, um, nothing. What are you doing up this late? I'm gonna meet my friends. Go back to your room. Aaron follows Ryan to his car and sneaks in at Frances's house. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Francis. Hey, Brooks. Let's go inside. Wow, his house is so nice. Here's the bathroom. I guess I'll hide in here. Whoa, Francis, you have a nice house. Yeah, you do. Aha, uh -huh, thanks, guys. Hey, um, I just gotta go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Wait, what the hell? Uh hum. What is this random kid doing in my house? Get out. What the hell? Um, Francis, it's me, Aaron. I'm so confused right now. Someone help me. Francis, are you okay? Why are you yelling? Aaron, is that you? What the hell are you doing in Frances's bathroom? I've been asking the same thing. I wanted to see Francis in real life. I don't care. You're so weird. What is wrong with you? Go home right now. But I... I... You are so embarrassing. And I'm pretty sure. You know, 
It's illegal to sneak in someone's house. Go home. I can't go home alone. I'm only a kid. Well, how did you get here then? Um, I snuck into Ryan's car. What? what? Oh my god. So either you let me stay or drive me home. Well, you're definitely not saying so. What? But you don't want to drive me back though. Ha ha ha. No, I don't. So that's why I'm calling dad to pick you up. You're gonna be in so much trouble. Ha ha ha. Wait, please don't. Too late. Wow, well, uh... Aaron, you are in so much trouble, boy. We are going home right now. Um, I can explain. I don't want to hear it. Oh my god, guys. I'm so sorry about that. Ha ha ha, it's okay. It was actually kinda funny. Ha ha ha. Kinda. Ha ha ha, guys. Now he's out of that bathroom. Can I maybe use it? Oops, sorry, Francis. Hey, to be honest, I still think about Estrell. Why? She's not playing Roblox anymore anyway. You miss her, Ella? Yeah. And I don't think her parents wouldn't let her play Roblox. Well, that's odd. I mean, mine are strict, but I can play Roblox every day. Anyway, let's join Adopt Me. Okay. Let's go. Then join Adopt Me. My pet is stink. I need to bathe her lol. Hey, is that Estrell? What? That could be anyone's avatar. But the username. Hey there, Estrell. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Calm down. Let's just follow her first, okay? Fine. Okay. Hey, I've realized that I still have her in my friend list. Really? I unfriended her since she said she had to quit Roblox. I think Align did the same. Uh, why did you unfriend her? Why do you need an account that would never be active on your list? Shut the hell up, guys, and focus. Whatever, let's just figure it out. They join Estrell! Estrell! Um, Estrell! Estrell? What the actual hell just happened? She has left the game. Crazy. Let's go find her again. Um, guys, what do we need to do to find her? I don't know. Her account is off now. Ah, uh, maybe just wait until she's online again? Yeah, I think so. Guys. I'm afraid that she would unfriend me. Maybe she didn't rate Kana's S. Guys, shut up. Estrell added me. Wait, so she's back. What about me? She hasn't added me. I need an explanation from her. We used to be so close and she has came back without a... Hi, how are you? Add her in our GC on Discord. I don't know how, but I don't feel good about this. Let's just add her. You sound mad, don't be mad. Yeah, maybe she hasn't had a chance to say hi. That could be a reason. Whatever, let's go align. Okay, Ella has created a GC. Ella has added a line. Ella has added a win. Ella has added Estrell. Okay, now we're all here. Estrell, do you have anything to say to us? Hi, everyone. There's no time for greeting. You said you can't join Roblox anymore. I thought we could never talk to each other ever again. We were even talking about you and how we missed you. I know you are mad, but first, can we do a face reveal first? What the? What's wrong with you? It's been two years, right? I have something to tell you guys too, but... I am not sure you are who I need to talk to. I need a face reveal to make sure. Uh, whatever, but you will explain everything after the face reveal. I will. Okay, this is me. You are Ella. Yes. This is me. I'm on. And I'm a line. I'm starting to feel like this is not Estrell. Come on, it's your turn. Show your face. Okay, this is me. Wait, is that Estrell? She looks like Estrell, but maybe two years has changed her. Oh, I know, Estrell left Roblox for a while to have a plastic surgery. No, guys, I'm Estel, Estrell's sister. I am three years older than her. What? Where is she then? She's... Hello? We're still waiting. She's dead. What? what? Since when? Two years ago. What? So she lied to us that her parents didn't allow her to play Roblox. While she was actually dying, she had cancer? No, she can't. Let herself. What the... Poor Estrell. What happened that made her did it? She was bullied by one of you. What the? What are you talking about? We were her best friends. That's not what she said in her suicide note. What did she say? I'll read it for you. 
I thought they were my friends, but one is evil, two are lenient. I believe they all realized I was being bullied, but they ignored it because they wanted to have fun. But I am not having fun. Maybe I am the problem. So we were bad friends to her. When I found her, she told me her names, and she was keeping her pictures in her hand. I tried to find you guys in many ways, but only today could I log in her Roblox and Discord. I didn't unfriend her. Why didn't you DM me? There were three Owens in her friend list, so I decided to see if you three would follow her if you see her in your server. Well, we're all here now. Let's find out who was the one that bullied Estrell. I can't forgive myself. I swear, Estel, I didn't know she was being bullied by any one of us. I thought you unfriended her as soon as she said she couldn't play Roblox anymore. I said it. Why would I keep an inactive account in the list? But you didn't believe that her parents would forbid her that bad, right? Yeah, you still think there's a chance she would come back. Yet you still unfriended her? I was mad. Okay, I talked to her in private about that because I know her parents. I talked to them once and I don't think they are Strict's parents like that. I asked her if she was lying. I wanted to know what was happening. Why did she want to leave us but she didn't tell? I was mad, so I unfriended her. We were so close but she didn't share me her stories. Okay, I believe you Ella. She talked about you a lot. Maybe it's you Owen. What? Because Ella liked you. We all know that. What are you talking about, Aline? Oh, come on. You know it. Estrell liked you. Oh, I see. What? It was you. I remember it now. Huh. Are you trying to blame it all on me? One time there were just me and her. She told me that I should stop playing with her alone like that. Aline wouldn't like it. Aline would be mad. She was scared when she talked about you. I thought it was just because she didn't want to get in an awkward situation. Shut up. Yeah. A line like so in? Ella, you said you wouldn't talk about this. But my best friend Kay led herself a line, and there's a possibility that it was because of you. I thought I am your bestie too. I'm friends with no murd. Ha ha, you see. Okay, okay. I was the one that bullied Estrell. How about that? Boo hoo Estrell Kay led herself because a line bullied her. Then why did a line bully her? Because her bestie and her crush prefer Festrel. You made this happen. I can't believe you, Aline. You are such a two-faced bitch. How can you blame it all on me? She was a weak-ass bitch too. Not everyone got bullied, Kay. Led themselves. Shut up, Aline. Say whatever you want, Aline. I have your address. How you think the cop would arrest me? Who said I would call the cop? I'm coming to you. She's gone. I have to go. This is terrible, Owen. How can this be true? I thought I was a good friend to her, but I wish we can turn back time to the last time she talked to us. I would do anything for her to change her mind. Two years ago. Hey, bestie. Hey. What's wrong? I think I should leave the GC. Um, why? You don't like Owen and Aline. No, um, I, I think they don't like me. What are you talking about? Of course they like you. If they want to hang out with me, they have to hang out with you. I don't want her to have her own group of friends. We have to stick together. Come on, let's join them. They are playing MM2. Do besties have to do everything together? I need some times alone. They played for one hours. Guys, I'm so tired. I need to go. But you are so boring. Ha, sorry, guys. Okay, take a break. And when you're back, I'll be here ready for our daily Abby games. Okay, Owen. Can I talk to you in private, Estrell? Okay. Are you being for real? You still play with Owen every day? I've made a promise to him. I don't care. Just freaking break it. He doesn't give a damn about you anyway. Just be a promise breaker. That will be even better. He would hate you and come back to me. You guys dated. We would, if you didn't come. Ugh, lucky for you, you are my bestie's friend. Her bestie? She means Ella. I thought. No, you are my bestie's friend Aline. I have no Ella since diaper and don't try to bring me down. Lolo, you want to clap back now? Listen, you are nothing without Ella. You are not cool. You are not pretty. People coming at you because of Ella. That is so pathetic. And if I were you, I would just end my life real quick. That's the kind of existence that tortures everyone, even yourself. Oh, is that so? Hey, Estrella, you are not offline yet. Can I have more Robux? 
You know what? I'll give you all of my Robux. For real? Yay cool. Anyway, let's get back to the GC. Okay. Hey guys. I thought you need a break. I have something to tell you. It's a sad news. What's that? My parents won't let me play Roblox anymore. Hey Naomi. Hey Micah. I got you this gift for your birthday. OMG is that a Barbie doll? I love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Three years later. We have been friends for three years. Yeah, we were five when we met each other. Today is the day that we met. It's our anniversary. Oh, but Micah, I have a bad news. What is that, Naomi? Me and my family would move to another town. What? I know. I don't know where will I be. So, we can't see each other again. I guess. Eight years later, on the street. Ugh, oh, I don't want to go home. We found her. Um, hello? Do I know you? You are Lily, the billionaire's missing daughter. They are looking for you, and they miss you so much. Lol, are, are they, they being, being for, real? for real? Guess, Guess I, have I have a chance, a chance to, get to get rid of, rid of this, this poor, poor life. life. Please come with us. Lily, I have missed you so much. You look just like your mother, Lily, sweetie. Oh, hi, mom. Hi, dad. I know you're feeling like a stranger, but you'll get used to this soon. Guard, I need the information about the ones that kidnap of her. Oh, can we forget about them? Well, they have never mistreated me, though. Yeah, but they have taught you to speak like a savage. What, what the? the? Is she, Is she being, being for, for real? real? Whatever. Whatever. Now the guard would take you to your room so you can get pre -uppered. Tomorrow, we will throw a party to celebrate your return. Okay, Dad. Wow, my room is so much better than I expected. Wait, Wait what's, what's this, this in my, in bag? my bag? A Barbie doll. It's so old. Who plays Barbie anymore? Oh, it was a gift from Micah. Ugh, who knows where is he now? Just forget about him. If the universe wants us to meet, we would have met. Come in. Miss, your dad wants to remind you to get dressed beautifully tomorrow. Because we're choosing your future husband. You mean my fiancé? That's cool, but I am too young to get married. Well, he didn't say I had to get married right away. This sounds fun. The next day. All the guests would come in three hours. Your dad's too excited for the party. I wanted you to learn some skills for the party though. Don't embarrass us. And we'll choose your fiancé, yay. I thought I am the one to make the decision. Do not raise your voice, young lady, so unladylike. Eden. I know she's being disrespectful, but it's her second day here. Besides, we've missed her for so long, so please don't be too strict to her. Okay. At the party. Welcome, everybody. Yesterday, my beloved daughter Lily was found in a small town. Please raise your glass and celebrate this with us. We're so excited to meet all of you, and we would love to see the boys who admire my daughter. Hello, I'm Malone, and I'm 26. My family owns a big diamond mine. You are 10 years older than me, sir. Lily, you should go see the flowers in our garden. We'll take care of this. Please, I know you want to get rid of me. And please note that I don't want an old husband. Thank you. She is so spoiled. Gosh, this life isn't the best. Well, I guess being rich isn't a 100% good idea. Naomi? Who the hell are you? I'm Tina. Oh, we lived in the same town. I am working in this garden for this rich-ass family. Well, do you know who you are talking to? The dress. You are their long-lost daughter? Exactly. Well, we know you are not Naomi. Anyway, I heard your parents are looking for you. Excuse me, my name is Lily. I am their real daughter. Girl, we both know dang well you aren't. Fine, I'm not. But I'm tired of being poor. Please don't tell anyone. I'm telling everyone. Okay then, guards. No, girly, I was joking. Lily. Lily. What is it? Lily, there is a poor boy looking for you. He believes that he is your chilltot friend. This is him. Naomi, I haven't seen you in so long. Please don't call her that. We named her Lily. Her name is Lily. No, he name is Naomi. Ah, uh, can you please explain to him Lily? Oh, that's, oh, that's Micah. Micah. Um, can I? Or do you not know him? Let me know so I'll get rid of him. I don't know him. So he lied, guards. Take this boy? Dad, I mean I do know him. Um, this is confusing. She was educated terribly. 
We met before, can I talk to him in private please? Of course, the guards are outside in case you are in danger. Thanks dad, thanks mom. I thought you don't know me, you remember me now? Micah, look. Oh I see, you want to leave your past behind. Goodbye, Naomi. Oh wait, I forgot, Lily the billionaire's daughter. What have I done? Micah used to be my good friend, I hurted him. Lily, your fiancé, Malone is waiting for you. Hello mom are you being for real? I don't like him. Can you just think for me a second? Lily, don't speak to your mother like that. What kind of mother wants her daughter to be this miserable? To your room now, and you're not leaving your room until you regret of your behavior. Whatever. I hate them. Um the window's open, I'll sneak out for a bit. Oh my god, where do I go? Hey, can you help me? OMG, are you the you are the billionaire's daughter? My brother said he met you. He's so lucky. If you're into girls, I hope have a chance. Nice, nice. There is something I gotta tell you though. My mom told me to go around and make friends. Can I be your friends and you know, sleep over? Be my guests. We aren't really wealthy, but you can come with me. Of course. Lily or Naomi went to Bibi's house. Hey mom, hey Micah. I bring my friend home for a sleepover. She's come because it's getting late and she's lost. Oh hi sweetie. You know, you kind of look like an old friend of Micah's when he was a kid. Sadly she's gone missing though. Micah, huh? Hey, I'm very glad I've run across you again. I need to speak to you. Listen, I only said that to get myself out of trouble for both me and you. My parents are forcing me to get married, it's hard. Naomi. Please, leave that place, that's not your parents, that's not a play for you. I always wanted what's the best for you, I've forgiven you anyway. I can't leave, I don't want to be poor anymore, I want to live in that mansion. Fine, but please. Lily, I think you should hide, there are guards outside. Miss, come with us now. No, leave me alone. These are your parents' order. Tell them I don't want to come. Listen, you are coming with us either way. Lily. How could you escape? You are so grounded. You can't do that to me. I'm so sick of this. I'm not your real daughter. Take a DNA test, and you'll see. I want to come back to my real parents. Lily, sweetie, what are you saying? She must be tired. No, I am not tired. Let me go back to my real parents. I demand a DNA test now. The result, Naomi is not the daughter. You filthy brat. How could she trick us into thinking we found our long-lost daughter? Lucky for you I was her. She would be shocked to know her biological parents are like this. Leave. I need to find Micah. I remember where I met Eden, I'll go there. Micah. Naomi. What do you mean by Naomi? I am free. I am so happy for you. I missed you so much. I missed you too, Micah. I love you. Oh, I mean, I am sorry I could help. I've loved you ever since we were kids. I always loved you. Really? Yes. If you don't like me back that's fine. You don't huh? No silly. I love you and I still have that Barbie you gave me when we were kids. Really? Thank you. Oh man, I thought I had a chance. Mission! 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 Find a partner! Find a partner. I like both of my friends. And I'm not going to date some random girls. I'll just go tell the hotties. Hey girls. Hey Francis. Hey. What missions did you guys get? Buy 10k Robux LMAO. Get a friend? Oh my oh god, my this, god, can, god be this can be my chance, chance to date. To date. But, I also, but like I also like Kate. Francis, you there? Yeah, what's up? What did you get? Oh, I have to find a girlfriend. Good luck with that. Yeah, ha huh, Katie, can you private chat me? Sure. What happened, Francis? Well, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out with me. I sure is Myra coming? Nope, just you and I. Why? We usually hang out together. Yeah, but I just want to be alone with you. Oh, okay. Don't tell Myra though. Okay. Hey guys. Hey. Hey Myra guys, I have to go. I'll be back, bye. Bye. So are you free on Saturday? Yeah, why? Wanna hang out with me? Just you? Yep, yeah, just me. All right, handsome. Let's go to the movie theater. All right, I'll pick you up at seven, don't be late. I won't. I have to go do something. I'll be back also, don't tell Katie. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh my God, Myra is so hot and she's flirting with me. Watch out, Katie. Myra is winning. I hope they don't find out about this, but well, can you blame me? They are both so hot.
and I'm sure they're dying for someone like me. And I need to get with one of them. I have to complete my mission. Or maybe I can just simply date them both, haha. Huh? I think I'm ready to go out with Katie. I'll go text her. Hey sis, are you ready? Yep. Want me to pick you up? Sure. I'll pick you up at 3 be ready. At 3 p.m. I'm got here at exactly 3. Let's go. She let she me let open, me the, open door. the door. That's, That's a, good a good sign. sign. Um, let's go to the movie theater. All right. A few hours later. Thank you, I really like the movie. Of course. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out some other day. Sure when? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. I'm actually going to be busy tomorrow, you know, family stuff, haha. -ha. Yeah, sure. What about Sunday? I'm free that day, so yes. Okay, a date it is. Yeah, haha. -ha. I'm sorry. Don't worry. I think I should get going now. Bye. She kissed me. I'm irresistible time to text Myra. Hey, Myra. Hey, where were you this entire day? I had some things to do. Oh, Katie wasn't online all day? Well, I'm here now. Yeah, wanna call? Sure. The next day. I'm outside. Coming. I hope I get kissed today too. I'm doing good right now. At the movie theater. Would you like to watch The Incredible 2 or Despicable Me? Despicable Me. I love Minions. All right, I got the tickets. Let's go. Oh my god, no. Katie, Katie is, here. is here. Good thing good Myra, Myra went to went get, to get popcorn. popcorn. Hey, Francis. Oh my, oh my god, god no. no. Hey. What are you doing here? I thought you had some family stuff to do. Yeah, but when I decided to come here, uh, I think I should get going now. Wait, wanna come with me? Sorry, I can. Hey. Oh, hey, Myra, you're here too, haha. -ha. Yeah, I came with Francis. We're on a date. Myra, no. Wait, what? Are you on a date with her? Can he not or what? He can, but he was on a date with me yesterday. Is that true? No, we just hanged out. Like friends, right? Yes. Come on, Francis, we held hands and even kissed. You can't be saying that it was a friendly hangout. Really, Francis? What? I never kissed you or did anything. We flirted and we're supposed to be on a date right now. We are. Yeah? I'm not going on a date with you after hearing all this. I'm not dating her, so why does it matter? This is because you're going out on dates with both of us. You were probably thinking about kissing me too. What? No. Why did you do this? I'm going to be honest, okay? I like you both, but I don't know who to be with. So, you think going out with both of us at the same time is the best option? Well, yeah, that's so I know who I might like more. We are dropping you. What? Why? But you guys are my only friends. You should have thought about that before doing this. Right? What about my mission? I would have to pay if I don't complete it. That's literally not our problem. Uh, at least give me a ride home and you, Katie? Nah. Hey guys, I'm so sorry to bother, but could one of you give me a ride home? My friend supposed to take me home, but it seems like they won't be here at any time. And yes, I know why would I ask some random person this, but you guys go to my school, so I don't know. Haha, <laughs> of course you can. My friend and I gonna leave too. This isn't fair, that was supposed to be me. Good luck finding new friends and a ride home lol. This is the worst day ever! Hum, all of my friends installed Roblox. Wait, I don't think any friends. I'll just install it. She downloads Roblox. You what the? I'm sure no one will friend me if I look like the literal pale thing with cooked bacon as hair. How can I change my avatar? I'll just join a game and ask some people how do I do it. Ragdoll engine? I'll try it. Never mind. Hum, okay, let's join them. They had I guess. She joins the game! Respawn! What the hell was that? I'll go find some people and ask them how the heck I changed my avatar. Hello? What do you? Wait, you ugly bacon. Kinley, be nice please. OOFC, love. Well, do you guys know how to change your avatar? I'm new and I'm dumb. I don't know how. And how do I become like you guys? I'll explain it to you. Explains everything! Oh, okay, thanks. Oh, and I forgot to say that you can buy some things with Robux. Can get Robux if you pay real money. Oh, thanks. By the way, guys, can I join your group? Oh, well, I'm broke, but I'ma spend my life savings on Robux, cuz why not? I'm back. Anyways, how do I look? Good. I'm better. Shut up, Kinley. No one asked. By the way, guys, what are y'all names? I'm Andy. I'm Kinley. I'm Milo. Do you guys want to play TTD? Sure. They joined the game. Let's team Andy. No, you know, it isn't fair. But we're dating. That's just an excuse for you to team. 
No, but you know, you're my BF and... Still no? Fine, Milo wanna team with me. Um no, wait a second. Wait, you new guy, you forgot to tell us your name? Oh right, sorry, I'm Opal. It's fine, and no need to be sorry. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Guys, the game is starting now. The game starts! I'm a KLL Opal. Opal, take down Kinley! You cheated. You're new, there is no way possible that you actually won. She's just better than you, so shut up, you stupid head. Umeo. At least I don't spend my life savings on Robux. It wasn't actually my money. I pretended to be a dude on Instagram and I found a sugar mommy. Then she gave me her money. Why would you use all her money on Robux though? Wouldn't that be a waste? She was a billionaire and I still have so much money lol. Well, it's still a waste. I don't give a F. Can y'all stop fighting, you idiots. Fine. After two months. Hey guys, would you like us to do a face reveal? Sure. I don't mind. No. Huh? Ugh, I mean yes. Okay, then I'll start. This is how I look. Pretty. Beautiful. It's okay, I guess. Anyways, this is how I look. You're okay, I guess. I want a prettier BF. You're Asho. Shut up. Okay, chill. This is me. Nice. Cute. Ugly. Okay, then show us your face. Ugh, okay, fine. Wait, be right back. I have to go to the bathroom. Um, I can't show them my face. Wait, I know what to do. Finds a picture on G. Perfect. Okay, I'll go back now. Hey guys. Anyways, this is how I look. That's Justin Bieber, you dump. Well, uh, that's because I'm Justin Bieber. Yep, that's me. That's so? Then sing. Baby. Song? Baby, baby, baby. Oh. Like baby, baby, baby. Oh. Like baby, baby, baby. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Mine. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Damn. You must EMF are you like five? OFC not. She wouldn't lie, right? Hum, hum have to go. I can't believe I actually date a five-year-old. Anyways, guys, would you like us to meet our real life? Sure. Okay, meet me at. Okay, see you there, bye. Bye. At the place they were supposed to meet. Okay, where the heck are they? Hey, bestie, I'm here. Per. Anyways, bestie, do you know where Opal is? No lol. She is probably late. Yay. I am sorry that I'm late, guys. It's okay, don't worry. Lovebirds lol. No. Ha, huh, who was that? It was me, baby boy. What the actual? But I don't know you. Why are you calling me that? You weirdo. It's me, your girlfriend. Wait, you're that Kinley? Yes, baby. Um, then you're my ex. Why, baby? First of all, show your face first. Fine, this is me, baby boy. Lumeo, you're like seven. I'm hotter and better than any one of you. Lol in your dreams, kid. Umeo. Stop. It's not funny. You're right, it's not funny. Finally, somebody agrees with me. It's hilarious. <coughs> Lol, I'll make her cry again, <coughs> Mom. Hey, Andy. Yes. Um, I kinda like you. He would never like you back. He loves me. I don't like you, kid. I'm not dating seven years old. But. I am actually like Opal. What? Woohoo. Yes. Mommy. Hugh. LMAO. Um, hey, Andy. Yes. Since you like me and I like you too, wanna be a couple? Woohoo. Of course. You guys are so cute together. Thanks lol by the way when are you gonna get a c- I don't know. A boyfriend works too. I'm lonely. Hey guys, can I join your friend group? A uh, OFC you can. Simp. Shut up. Anyways dude, what's your name? I'm Donovan. That's cool he blushes. I'm Milo. That's a cute name. He thanks. I ship. Me too. Can we go to the park? Sure love. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. The end. Hey, baby. Hey, hottie. Guys, I'm here as well. Laugh out loud. Who gives a FK? Yeah, fat slug. Haha, <laughs> good one, handsome. Okay, then. Would you all mind if I added my bestie? Again, who gives a FK? Hey, guys, I'm Mira. Hey, dumb. I'm Caroline. Okay, Jackush. Hey, I'm Milo. And you know who I am already. Again, Diego. Who gives a FK? Get that in your head. Am I right, Mira? No, you are not. How dare you speak to him like that? Babe, that was way too harsh. What are you talking about? Do you hate Diego? OMG, stop lying, Caroline. Caroline, believe it or not. Not everybody wants to hate Diego. Whatever. Milo, we are done forever. Okay. What the fact just happened? That was all bullshit. Thought so. Anyways, Mira, 
Wants to play Tower of Hell with me? Sure, I guess. Diego, I'll tell you the server. Ah, uh, no. It is a private server, silly. Wait, am I allowed to join this time? What? Shut up, you always join. What, oh yeah. I was just joking. Milo, I am in the server. If Caroline is playing, I am not. Same here. Well, nobody asked you. See, Mira Milo is full of mean. I already know, lol also don't speak to me. Whatever, loser. I am playing Tower of Hell by guys. Uh, I hate her already. Lol. I have hated her for three years. Same, bro. But you guys were dating for three years. Yeah, I know, dumbbash. I was getting forced to... No sympathy, lol. How did this group meet anyways? Well, I met. Lol Diego, shut up. Let me tell the story. We met in Tower of Hell and we became friends. Then I was forced to date Caroline. And I was forced to bully Diego. Okay, that was all definitely nonsense. No, it was all true, right, Diego? Yes, of course. Whatever you say, I guess. You sound like some spastic, Mira. I would like to hear you. You probably sound like a dying seal. You wish, mate. We should do face reveal. OMG, yes. Shut up, Diego. Nobody asked for you to talk. Why don't you shut up? You are not her boyfriend, so stop acting like it. Why do you care so much? Probably wants to kiss you so hard in bed. Blushes. You know, I have my eye on someone else. Okay, I'm doing a face reveal first. Holy, you are so beautiful. Shut up, me next. That's hot. Mira, what do you think? Um, you look good, I guess. I guess I'm next. Looks fake, but whatever. Let's see you ugly, Ash. Damn, not bad. What do you think, Milo? Couldn't give a kiss. I think you look nice. Shut up, Diego. I didn't ask for your opinion. Shut up, Caroline. Whatever. We should all meet up and have a sleepover. Yes, we should at my house. Okay, I'm down. Same. Fine, whatever. Okay, let's meet up Saturday. Here is my address. Can't wait to rail you finally. What did you just say to me, you weird flag? Yeah, Caroline, no need. Oh, please, you probably want to rail Diego. Blushes hard. Maybe, maybe not. What the? You and Diego can't be together. Why is there some sort of problem? Nope. I was just joking. Okay, good cause you'll never know. This is so cringe lol see you guys soon. I'm going to play Roblox. I have to go have lunch. See you all soon. By sexy. That's too flirty. You can't be calling her that. Why not? You so bossy. Want to come to my house now? I'm so bored. If you stop being mean, I will come now. Hey Milo, you look really nice. Ha, huh, thanks, come in. Are you rich or something? Yeah, I guess. Holy anyways, let's go to your room. I'm so bored, what do you want to do? We could do something fun. Milo, you sick in the head. If you only wanted me to come early to sleep with you, I'm out. No, I was talking about playing a game. Let me get you a drink. Thanks, Milo. They are here. Who's here? Hey guys, come in. Milo, you have such a nice house. Ugh, just shut up. Where is Mira? She was very lightheaded, so she fell asleep on my bed. Okay, I just want to see what she looks like since we haven't seen each other. The end! Happy New Year, bestie! Happy New Year! What do you want to do? As usual? Yeah, that would be nice! They joined Brookhaven! Oh wait, I need to get something. Okay. Look at them. They look so fun. Hey, stop! I won you lol. No lol. Hi guys. Hi. I saw you too and I think you are so fun. Can I be your friend? Sure, my name's Finn, her name is Cease. That's nice to know my name is Andrea. Hi bestie, I am back. Uh, who are these people? My name's Cease and he is Finn. And you? My name's Lizzie. Nice to meet you. Actually, my other friends are calling me so gog. Okay, bye. Bye bestie. Bye. A guy lied. There was no one calling me. Andrea makes friends so quick. Will she leave me like? No, stop overthinking, Lizzie. Let's take a nap. Lizzie takes a 542 minute nap. Oh, hey, I love you, new avatar. Thanks. I have a new GC with Cease and Finn. Maybe you can join. Okay, um, what about playing something? Later, ugh. Andrea adds Liz to her GC. Hi. Oh, it's that girl in Brookhaven. Yeah, don't care too much about her. What, what does what that, that even, even mean? mean? Let's do a face reveal then. Okay, sure. Good idea. So I'll go first. This is me. 
Wow. Stunning. You're so cool. I guess now me. Wow, wow she, she is, is so, so beautiful. beautiful. You look amazing. Ooh, pretty. This is me. Handsome. OMG, I have two cool friends. Good looking. Now me. Cool. cool. Why, they, Why don't they, they don't compliment, compliment me more? more? Anyway, you should change your avatar, Liz. You are matching us. Make your avatar more pink. Well, but I don't have any Robux. I have always looked like this, you know? Well, then you can't stay. Lizzie has been kicked from the GC. What was wrong with you, Andrea? Why did you do that? Because her avatar is ugly and she's poor. I thought she was your bestie. You treat your bestie like that. I can't, Gog. Well, all I asked her is to change her avatar. Meanwhile, Andrea is like a different person. Was that because the other girls has changed her? Or... Hi, Lizzie. Hi, um. Why are you two here? We just want you to know that we don't support Andrea's behavior. We were shocked to see her treating you like that. Maybe I should talk to her. Thank you for telling me this. As we should, goodbye. Bye. Maybe I should just change my avatar and talk to her. Yes, she just hates my avatar. Talking to her is what important right now. Hi, bestie. Can I talk to you? Okay, whatever. Make it quick. What happened? I don't understand your behavior. You were so rude to me. Because I want to make friends with Cease and Finn. You looking bad makes me look bad, you know that. If you can't help, at least don't ruin me. I am your friend. Why would I ruin you? What are you even talking about? Ugh, I can't believe you changed after I had taken a nap. When I told you to change your avatar, you didn't. Now you make me look bad in front of them and they might hate me now. Now when you meet them again, act normal. Stop acting like a victim. Who is the one I am talking to? This isn't Andrea. You have just met them and you care about their feelings more than your besties thought. You are so noisy. Now I'm adding you back. And if you try to make me look like a bad person again, I will torture you. I see you have changed your avatar. Guess you are still a loyal dog. I. And stop calling your bestie. I am not. Huh? The next day in the GC. Hi, guys. Oh, hey, Lizzie. I like your new avatar. Um, thanks. I, um, changed it yesterday. Anyway, I want to play some game. Of course. What do you want to play? Let's play Adopt Me. Then join Adopt Me. Cease and Finn go find Liz. And Andrea is upset about it. I swear I saw Andrea around. She's so weird. I know, right? Sometimes I am scared of her. She changed her avatar and acted like she was our bestie. Please, that'll take a lot of time. Now let's go find her before she's mad. They go find Andrea. Ugh, where have you been? I was so sad when I couldn't find you. Liz, you told me that you are all left and you don't want to find me. I thought you have abandoned me. What, Liz, you told her that? What I haven't even chat to. She's chatting with me privately. See these messages. What I am not? But we can tell that you're typing all the time. Yeah, she was talking to us, but I can still hear her keyboard. Ugh, I have to leave the game, guys. Wait. Let's leave Cease. Okay. I want to know what is actually happening. They're back to the GC. What was happening, guys? Yeah, we were supposed to have fun. I'm sorry. It was Liz texting me that you two wouldn't find me and would leave. Okay, I think we should take a break. Then we can play later. I have to go downstairs now my mom is calling. And I need to go to the bathroom. Why are you lying? I wasn't. What the? Are you crazy? Why did you tell them that? You want them to think about me as a bad person. You care about their feelings, but not your besties. Huh? That's what I said. You betch. Liz, why are you being rude to Andrea now? What? She set me up? Liz, I thought you were my bestie. Ugh, I have to go. Now they're all mad at me. I can't believe that Cease and Finn believe that. They saw Andrea be mean to me earlier. I still want to be their friend even when they are Andrea's friend. But I've got myself in this situation. I need a break. The next day. Lizzie, we need to talk. About? The things you were saying to Andrea. I wasn't texting to her like that. Calm down, Liz. How can I calm down when no one believes me? We hear you call her a B word. We both heard that. Yes, because she was provoking me. She wanted me to do that so you could hear that. She wants me to look bad and wants you two to forget that she used to be mean to me. 
She thinks I'm getting in her way and ruining her chance to be friends with you. I was forced to act normal around her and not say anything. I still have proof that I haven't texted her for two days. Oh, it's true. A higher quality screenshot. I don't really care. Just pretend you didn't see what I showed you. If she finds out I told you both this, she's gonna go mad. I don't really want to be friends with you guys. That's what she wants and she'll be nicer when I'm not there. Well, Lizzie left. Did you see? Guess this is an end for my and Andrea's friendship. Let's go back to my old avatar. This is a lot better. Now let's make some new friends. In Brookhaven. Hi. Hello. Wait, Finn. He, I want to be with you. Why? What happened? Well, I wanted to leave with Cease, but she wants to have a friend who is scared to lose her. So I left without her. I like you, Liz. What? I want to be with you. Wow, I don't know what to say about this. It's fine. We'll take time. Well, thank you for being here. Don't thank me. Now let's go play something. Sure. Why there is a bacon here? Who added him? Oh, I did. He is. Again, you know, I don't want to play with bacons. Let me finish, Carter. He is my boyfriend. Hi, my name is Louis. Mute yourself. I don't talk to you. Hey, what was that attitude, Carter? That bacon doesn't belong here. Oh, I guys, be right back. Hey, I am back. Oh, no. Why don't you just keep gotta going? But I have done my thing, so I am back. Are you stupid or something? You're pretending that you don't understand me. Let's do a face reveal, guys. It's getting boring. Good idea, Tessa. Okay. I don't want to. Why not, Carter? I don't know. Whatever. I'll go first. Here's me. Wow, wow. he's, he's really, really cute. cute. Oh, baby. I have never seen this pic before. Thanks, girls. It's a new pic. Uh, whatever my turn. Here's how I look. Fire. Oh, guy, wait, I. Here's me. Okay, my turn. I think we're done. Uh, my mom just called Gog. See you guys soon. Uh, guys, I want him to be out of the GC. I don't like him. He is so sus. He isn't sus. I know him IRL. He's handsome and rich. Do you mean that you like him for his money? Gosh, Tessa. Where did you hear that? You mentioned that he's rich. Doesn't mean I am using him thought. Let's just join some game without him, guys. Yeah, maybe he can join us later. Let me think. What do you want to play, girls? I don't know. I thought you said you think. Well, I want to play Pet Simulator. Sure, I'll join you. Hey, guys, I'm back. Hi, Louie. Want to join us in Pet Simulator? Hey, I said. Sure, but I want to tell you something. Of course, go ahead. So I showed you this pic. Why you resent your pic? Yeah, I'm about to tell you now. That's not me. Huh? This is me. How lol he edit his pic, so gay. Biggest customer of face app. Yeah, I was learning how to edit my pic, but this. That means nothing. Yeah, I can edit a pic like that in five seconds. But I found this on Google for real. Looney was kicked out of the GC. Thanks girls for trusting me. You should break up with him ASAP. -im. Yeah, I need to talk to him now. Hey Louie. Why did they kick me out? Because you tried to bring Carter down and that's not nice. While you believe him now, then we're done. How dare you? I am the one who done. Blocked Amelia. I can't believe it. He blocked me. Just ignore him. Now you're my name. Huh? Just a joke lol. Okay. That's a weird joke. We're close friends though. Don't take it too serious. Uh, whatever. I... I think I should change my avatar. I like this now. Let's go into Ragdoll and find some new friends. Hey. Oh, hi. My name's Louie. Do you want to be friends? Yeah, sure. My name is Kyle and he is Tyler and she is Anya. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Tyler. And hi, Anya. Well, should we do another face reveal for Louie? Sure, I guess. Well, Louie, you can go first. Okay, here's me. Oh, he's, oh, he's my, my type. type. He's so handsome, huh? What about me? Not my type, lol. I'll go next. Damn, he fit. Oh, lovely. I'll go now. I'll go now. Wow, you are all so cool. Wanna join Blade Ball with me? Hello, Blade Ball? Anyone? Sorry, that game is for kids. I am joining MM2. I love that game too. I'll join you. Yeah, me too. Um, we all will. I thought you don't like that game. Not anymore. Okay, I've joined you so has Tyler and Kate. Okay, we teaming. Nah. Alright, does anyone know who the sheriff is? 
Yeah, me, why? You're the sheriff. Yeah, I am, why? Help. Wait, Kyle is the murd? No, I'm not murd. Where is Louis? I don't trust Kyle. He has K. Let Lou. I said I'm not a murd. Kyle, chill. Hello, Tyler. I'll go. I knew it. He low ways on you. Stop. You sounds creepy. Wait, that's my ex coming. I know I have blocked her. A guy have to get rid of her. Hey, Louis, how are you? Wait, Louis. Yeah, it's me, and this is my new better friend group. Please take me back. I miss and love you, boo. He isn't going back to you. Pick me girl alert. Lol, yeah. Kyle K. Let on ya, and they left the game. A Kyle is such a snake. How did you find me? I had the best hiding spot ever. Um, ha ha, I won. Congrats, you. I'm the best in this game. You don't know that. Anyway, can I talk to Louie for a sec, guys? Thank you so much. Let's get one thing straight. I don't like you. You are a toxic person and I'm over you size you trust Carter. I left that friendship group cause you were so toxic except Tessa but I feel bad for her now. But she also didn't believe me at the end. Please take me back I didn't know that you weren't lying but Carter was my bestie. I had to believe him babe. How could you find me anyway? I blocked you. Baby I am so sorry. Louie has kicked Amelia. Finally, they're done. Tyler, now I can tell you that I like you. Wait, what? For real? Yeah, we have known each other for a while now. Wanna be my boyfriend? Okay, I guess. I love you. I can finally call you mine, babe. Is everything okay? I am just shocked, lol. Congrats, guys. Aw, oh, this is so cute. Lo, I am glad you two are not homophobic. Okay. They play another round. That game was fun. Yeah, because you won. Lol, not every round can be the same. Are you brat? Kyle, why are you being rude? What? Ick, what did I do wrong? You shut up. Come on, Kyle. You barely lose anyway. Yeah, whatever. Huh? Whatever for a plan to work, you must nicer. Okay, lol, they're so dumb. Nice. And we will make Tyler kick Louis out of the GC. So my relationship is safe and you can have Louis? Yay, I can't wait. All right, we're back. I'm okay, sure then you guys never even said you were away. But okay, let's go with it. We did stop being so dumb, Louis, and I know you're jealous of me and Tyler. So why doesn't he kick you because you're trying to ruin us? What? I was not. Ick, what is happening? Why do I have to kick him? You were the one saying rude things. Wait, no, Tyler, he tries to break us up. Oh, no, oh, now no, Kyle, Kyle is to rush you. I think Kyle has a problem with me. Guys, I think. Of course I have a problem with you. Your pick is so fake and I believe you're gay too. You want Tyler. I hate you. Tyler is mine. I should, I should switch, switch sides. Side. Guys, I have something to tell you. Shut up on you. The truth is Kyle wants to set Lou up so Tyler would kick Lou out. He told me that. I have proof. Send a screenshot. WTF you backstabber. I trusted you. You coward bitch. Kyle has been kicked out of the GC. Why you believe me? This is the first time I've got someone on my side. This is new. It's so obvious. Kyle is so crazy. Should you give Haim a proper breakup? Of course, later. And. Hey, Evie. Hey, bestie. Want to play Bedwars with me? Of course. Um, but I think I would want to add my friend here to play with us. His name's Enzo. I am um, kind of have a crush on him. Okay, sure. You can add him in. Enzo has been added to the group. Hi, guys. Hey, Enzo, this is my best friend, Sebastian. Hi, you can call me Sub. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Let's play Bedwars, guys. Sure. That's my favorite game. They play for 534 minutes. And yes, I did just type in random numbers. I had a lot of fun with you guys. So did I. Oh, my mom called. Gog. Okay, bye. Bye. BRB. I guess we have sometimes a lone sweetheart. Huh? Um, what did you just say? If you couldn't hear it clear, it's probably unimportant. Okay, then. So, um, how long have you and Evie been friends? Almost 10 years. Wow, you must be really close. Yes, yes we are. What do you think about her? Do you like her? Lo, no, we're just friends. And she has a crush also. Tell me about you. Are you dating? Or do you like Samian? Um, no. I don't have anyone in mind. Oh, for real? Um. Anyway, go. See you later. Okay, see ya. Where are you, Eve? Evie. I'm here. How was it? It was crazy. What? What happened? Was he a rude one? No, he's nice and friendly. But I think I heard him calling me sweetheart. What? Are you trying to tell me that he's gay? I'm sorry, but seems like it. But you need signs and proofs, you know. Hello, I am not deaf. He called me sweetheart. And then he asked me if I like you or if I am single. Oh, gosh. 
This is so hard to believe. Why would I lie to you though? I'm even freaking out right now. Damn it, I trust you of course. But I feel so bad you know. My crush is gay. Why I always pick the wrong one? Do you want to talk to him? I mean, to get things off your chest. Yeah, you're right. Shouldn't hold these emotions inside. Hey Enzo. Hey Eve, you're back. Hey um. Where is Sub though? When will he come back? It's just me. I wanted to talk to you privately. Okay, I'm all ear. Well um, do you like Sub? Yeah, but as a friends, you know. Well Sub said he thought he heard you calling him. Sweetheart. Oh I think um, my gay jokes made him uncomfortable. Should I leave? No 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 I'm sorry, I was just saying. He's fine, he likes playing with you so. Just want you to know that kinda not cool a little bit. Oh sorry about that. I was just surprised that you seems. Gay. Oh I am by lol. Oh so you like girls too lol okay. Wanna go back to the GC? Okay. Meanwhile. I wonder what's taking Evie so long. I hope she didn't hurt his feelings. Maybe I should. Hey sub. Um hey. Oh hi guys I was wondering where you were. I'm super bored lol. Same. Same. Maybe we should do a face reveal first. I know Enzo already but. You haven't seen his face right. I'll go first. I'm 16 and this is me. Slay as always. Cute. I'll go next. I'm 16 and this is me. Why well, you look sharp. Wow. Speechless. Okay my turn I'm 17 and this is me. Stunning bestie. Damn it I am so melted. Oh. You guys are so good at giving compliments lol. This, this is all good. Guys wanna join me in Blade Ball. Well uh. Actually I. Oh you don't wanna play that game. I, I need, need to, to private chat, chat you so, so sorry. sorry. Okay. Bye I guess. Sub Ibai. you. Lol you go first then. Well I think you should go first. Okay, well I just want to say that you are really handsome. I totally understand why Enzo is a little bit simp on you. But we have just revealed our faces. Yeah, I know, but that handsome energy you know. Well thank you, appreciate that. So did you talk to Enzo about his behavior? He seems fine with it, doesn't seem embarrassed at all. I was pretty sure that he's gay. So he's straight? He's bisexual. I thought I have to let him date you lol. I'll be happy for you but, sad for me you know. And lucky I didn't say you were my best gay friend and... Evie this is gonna be bad. What's wrong? I need to think about this more. Think about what? Sorry Evie I have to go. Okay. But bye Evie. What was that? I have never seen him so nervous. I hope everything's alright. A couple months later, they get closer and closer. Enzo Enzo are you there? Oh hey sub, is everything okay? Um, I wanted to tell you something. Sure, what's up? I am gay. Oh, Evie knows this? Yes, she knows, but she doesn't know that I like you. What? Excuse me, can you repeat that? I like you, yeah, I like you. Really? But please don't tell Evie. She really likes you too. I feel so bad, I mean, I already feel guilty. She's my best friend and I'm practically stealing her crush. No, you aren't. Yes, I'm, she liked you first. But we like each other. I'm basically stealing a crush and I can't imagine how she will think. We don't have to tell anyone. No, why? Don't think like that. We can't fool her forever. But. I won't lie. Sub, calm down. No, I can't. Listen. I won't ever have feelings for Evie. And the worst part is, she thinks she still has a chance. I think let's just be honest. I don't know. This is for all of us. Because we need to be happy. Let me know when you've made up your mind. I don't know what to do. Maybe Enzo is right. Evie, are you there? Are you okay? No, we need to talk. Oh, um, what about? My feelings for Enzo. You're what? It's been a while. I don't understand what the hell you're talking about. Okay, I can explain. I don't know what made me have feelings for Enzo. I know how much you like him, but I was talking with him. And how could you do this to me? You know how much I like him, and I have been. I wanted, I wanted to, tell to tell him, him that, him today. that today. I know. I just want to be honest with you. I don't think I can be with him. I can't imagine being happy when your heart is broken. Enzo told me that. The worst thing is keeping this secret from you. I guess he's right. I just. I was afraid. I didn't want to lose you as my best friend. I like Enzo a lot. But you have been my friend since forever. Losing you is the worst can happen to me. So, I want you to be happy. What? Are you sure about that? No, of course not. If you have feelings for Enzo, it's okay. He doesn't like me and I can't force it. If you guys want to be together, then I support you. Really thank you so much, Evie. I can't believe you would give up on him for me. You wanted to give up on him for me anyway. 
But why do you have to? He likes you too. Now, shut up and go. Talk to you later. Enzo, Enzo, come here. Yes, sub. Did you talk to your Evie? Yeah. How did it go? What did she say? Well, um, she was a bit hurt, but she wasn't upset. I told her everything and she said it was okay. She said she could never force you to like her and that as much as she liked you, she'd support us. If I wanted to be with you. See, I told you. Shut up, I mean. Why are you hesitating now? So will you please be my boyfriend? Yes, I will. And. Oh my God, guys, guys. I have something to tell you. Guys, wake up, it's urgent. It's eight o'clock in the morning. What do you want? Oh, hi, Melody. Did you really just wake me up just to say hi? Oh my God, guys, guys. You want to play something while we wait for them? Sure, what do you want to play? Hum, what let's play Bedwars. Oh, sorry, what were you going to say? I was going to say Blade Ball. But we could play Bedwars if you want to. Really, thank you. Join me, Melody. Hi, y'all. It's only 7 a.m. Go back to sleep, Reese. Nah, you go, Poppy. I want to talk to Lauren. You want to talk to me? Surprisingly, yes. Now hurry up, Softy, and answer my call. Wait. Lauren is finally getting a girlfriend. Unlikely Mel Lauren seems too soft for Kenzie. But it's still possible, isn't it? Where did he go? He probably answered Reese's call. Probably. Jinx. Jinx. Great job, Xavier. You make them annoying. Do you think we should do something? No, I would like to watch. Dude, are, are you, you reading, reading my, my mind? mind? Stop, Stop that. that. Fine. Finally. Sausage. Oh, oh now Archer, Archer is, is annoying. annoying. What the I am not annoying. Shut, Shut up, up Archer. Archer. Oh my gosh, you should really stop the thing. Just stop, I'm getting a headache. Gosh, yes, yes finally. finally. I'm, I'm leaving. leaving. That, that was, was weird. weird. Oh no, I don't want to deal with this. Guys, me and Lauren have something to tell y'all. I'm sorry, oh, it's just me. Oh, where did everyone else go? Don't ask me. I guess we can tell them tomorrow. Yeah, I guess now. Come on, join me in the hood. Anything for you. The next day. Good morning, guys. Everyone's still asleep. Poppy, Reese, Lauren, Archer, Melody. Melody. Good morning, Mel. Why are you waking up so early today? Maybe because I went to bed at 9 p.m. I sleep till to 12 in the morning and wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning every day because of you all. You wake up at 7 a.m. just to hear my sexy voice. That's a weird way to explain it, but yeah, I totally wake up just to hear your beautiful voice. I was joking, but thank you, Melody. I want to tell you, but I can't bring myself to. So do you want to do something like play a game or just talk? I have an idea, but it includes Lauren, Reese, Poppy, and Archer, basically everyone here. So I need you. You need me. I know, yes, sir. Let me explain, Mel, stop interrupting me. Ha 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 ha. Melody, are you gonna explain or what? Explain what? Hi. Oh, hi, guys, wait. You and Reese are dating. They're not lover boy, don't worry. You can still date Mel. Me and Xavier are just friends. Yeah. Dude, my goodness, Xavier, let's talk in private, what? Why just? Do it, bro. Okay, okay, see ya. So, I'm with the girls now. Was it something I said? Probably, um. But hey, it's an all-girls party. Why does it feel so boring without Xavier? All the boys are annoying sweetheart except Lauren. That's because you're in love with Lauren? Wait, oh my god, I forgot to tell y'all something. What? what? Me and Lauren are dating. I gotta tell Xavier about this. Why does she talk about Xavier 24-7? Maybe because she's in love with him and even realize it. That sounds like it came out in anime. Exactly, sweetie. Yeah, so anyway, when are they coming back? Don't ask me. Oh, well, the next day. Good morning, Mel. Mel, she's not, she's awake, not awake, that's, that's odd. odd. Guys, wake up, wake up, Jesus. Guys, wake Kiri up. Mel, let us sleep. I'm not Mel. What happened to Mel? I'm not sure, that's why I woke up, you guys. Do any of you know what happened to Mel? I think I do. Really tell me right now. Whoa, dude, calm down, are you okay? I never, never seen Xavier, Xavier like, like this. this. I'm fine, just really tell me what happened to Mel. Well, after you, Lauren, and me finish heat a private talk. I went to talk to Mel. And a few minutes into our talk, she told me she wasn't feeling well. 
so she slept at 7 p.m. I see sorry for acting strange. Nah dude it's fine I understand. I know this is random but the private talk was so boring. Shut up Lauren. Hey since Mel's not here, maybe we can tell the girls about it. Sure. No no I do not trust them. So rude. I never said this to a guy before. But I promise you Poppy and me won't tell anyone. Even if it's our own best friend unless you give us permission. Yet yeah, trust us, Xavier. Make up your mind, bud. Good morning. Mel, are you okay? Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sick? Maybe. Do you have a headache? Sort of. Do you have a stomachache? Xavier, let me explain. Sorry, I'm just worried about you. Boys, get out of here. What, why? Brew. Please, I need to talk to the girls. All right, I respect that. Come on, Lauren and Archer. Bye, Reese. Bye, babe. See ya, sis. Shut up. Man, I'm trying to be kind. I hope you're okay, Mel. Just remember I'm your best friend. You can tell me anything. I know and I trust you with all my heart, Xavier. Don't worry. Girls, I'm on my period. Damn, girly, I'm feeling bad for you. A uh, congratulations. It's not a celebration, Poppy. I'm dying. Honey, you're not dying. I know, but it feels like I am. You'll be fine, you should tell Xavier. Reese, are you dumb? He's a boy. No, are you dumb? He's your best friend. You can tell him anything. I guess you're right. I'll be right back. Do you think she's overreacting? Nah, I acted like that when I got my first period. Well, she's 15. Don't you think she was kind of late? I don't know, girl. Meanwhile, with Savior and Melody. So you're telling me you bleed every month? Yes, that's literally what I said. And it's only for girls? Yes. Seems painful. It is. Why though? What do you mean? Why do you bleed every month? So I can get pregnant. Good morning. Anyone awake, Xavier? Good morning, Mel. Hi, guys. Morning still upset on why you guys wake up so early every day. You get used to it like I did, don't worry. Yeah, right. Hi, Archer. Hi, Poppy. You seem excited. What's up? Well, I made a new friend. I told him about you guys and he wants to meet you all. You have a new guy friend. Yes, is it okay if I add him to this group chat? Woohoo, another boy. Add him. Okay, thank you guys. A new person has been added. A new person. Hello, I'm Kevin. I'm 16 years old. I'm Mel, I'm 15 years old. I'm Poppy, I'm 15 years old. I'm Lauren, I'm 16 years old. I'm Reese, I'm 16 years old. I'm Archer, I'm 17 years old. I'm leaving. Wait, Xavier, is he okay? I'm not sure. Is it because of me? No, it's not. I'll go talk to him. You guys stay here. Okay, so. Xavier, are you okay? Is something bothering you? Xavier, please answer. I'm worried. What do you want? I mean, I. Don't worry, it's okay. Why did you leave? You can tell me anything. Aren't I your best friend? I'm scared. Scared about what? You won't understand. I'll try to understand. Just tell me what's bothering you, Xavier. Fine, I don't like your newly friend. I feel like you're gonna stop hanging out with me and start hanging out with him more. You won't do that, right? Why are you so worried about that? You know nobody else can replace you, right? We've known each other since kindergarten. So why? Let's just go back to the group. Xavier, stop. I know something's up. Just tell me. I can't. Why not? I just can't. This is why I told you. You don't understand. Just give me some time to calm down. I don't want to hurt your feelings. I'm sorry, Mel. It's fine. Back to the GC. Oh, hi, Mel. Where's Xavier? Do not bother him. He wants to be alone for a while. Oh, okay. By the way, your Kevin friend left and before he left, he said he didn't want to cause any problems. I feel so stupid. If I never had the idea to add him in this group, none of this will happen. I'm going to be offline for a while. Tell Xavier. Wait, Melag. Now I have to wait a billion years. Might as well sleep to pass the time, yeah. I'm pretty sleepy. Same here, girl. Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. night. The next day. Guys, wake up, please. It's urgent. Let me guess. Mel's not answering your messages. Ah, uh, yeah. How did you know? Well, when you and Mel were talking, Kevin left. Then when Mel came back, Mel said she's was going offline for a while and told me to tell you, but you never read my messages. Oh, I'm sorry. When is Mel coming back? 
We don't know she didn't say. But don't worry, lover boy. She will come back for you. For sure, dude, she loves you. Wait, really, she told you guys that herself? My guy, are you dumb? She didn't tell us, we just know. Then how are you guys 100% sure? Yep, he's dumb. And we know you like Mel. I what know? Yeah, right, lover boy. Just confess to her. Ah, you guys are getting off topic. There was a topic, yes. How do you guys know for sure if Mel likes me? Have you not noticed the way she acts around you? Ah, that's a no. She's so happy and excited around you all the time. Then when you leave her happiness just boom disappears. Think about the times you and Mel hanged out alone without us. Oh, you're right. I thought I was the smartest here. But what if you guys are wrong? What if Mel doesn't actually like me? And just acts like that around me cause I'm her best friend. You're overthinking my guy. But now for the serious question. What I don't like the sound of that. Do you like Mel? Hurry up and answer. Yeah bro we don't have all day. Oh look at the time time for lunch. It's 10.03 PM. It's so obvious he likes her. For real. I'm worried for Xavier and Mel. They're the only people who understand each other the most. I wonder how Mel's doing. Oh, by the way, sis mom said we're going to the mall in 30 minutes. So get ready. Ugh, I don't want to go. Too sad, too bad you're going either you like it or not. Well, see you later, Lauren and Reese. Bye, Poppy. See you later, girl. Wanna make out? A week later. Nope, no Mel still. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi, Poppy. Hey. Hello, everyone. Have you guys seen Xavier? He's acting different. For real. It's probably cause of Mel. It's been a week. He's talking less every day. We really need to get Mel back on. Yeah, but how? Who here has been friends with Mel before all of us? Definitely Poppy and Xavier. Yep, I agree with Reese. Okay, since Xavier probably won't get on, Poppy, you have to spam call Mel. I already tried that. It didn't work. When do you know Mel's Roblox password? Don't think about that, Reese. Mel did tell me it, but she doesn't want me going on to her account without her permission. Then all we can do is wait. I really hope Mel comes back soon. We all do, Poppy. Xavier, why don't you talk that much anymore? I don't know, I haven't been feeling myself lately. Well, I'm glad you're back, buddy. Hello, Archer. Where's Lorena? I guess we were too surprised by your sudden appearance that we didn't realize Lauren left. Oh, I wonder where he went. Guys, I have great news. What? Mel's coming back online in a couple days. Oh my lord, really? Yup. How do you know Lauren? Look at her new story on Insta. I can't wait, but I have to go. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, Xavier. Bye, guys. Man, I missed Xavier's voice. It was nice hemling it once again. I still think Xavier's annoying, but right now I feel bad for him. We never realized how important Mel was to Xavier till now. Yeah. Okay, enough with being sad, worried, scared, and more every day. Cheer up, everyone, let's play a game. Um, yeah, maybe you're right, Archer. You know, the more I think about Archer's name, the more it sounds like ass. Hey, Lauren, how dare you? Just join me, guys. Anyway, what game are we playing? Can we play Murder Mystery 2? Oh my god, yes, I haven't played that game in here. If my girlfriend is playing, I'm playing. I'm in. Great, join me, guys. Two hours later. Bro, that was so fun. I know that banana guy was so funny. I haven't had that much laughs in a month. Same, oh my god. Hey, I need to tell you guys something. What is it, softy? Thank you, guys. How for what, my guy? I never had friends. Well, I did, but they were all pretending. But you guys, you guys stayed with me. You guys laughed with me. You guys helped me through everything. I thought you guys leave me after a year. But no, you guys stayed with me for five years. If you guys ever leave me, I don't know what I would ever do. Especially, you Reese, you're my first ever girlfriend. I don't ever want to lose any of you guys. Dude, I'm crying. Same. That's the kindest thing someone ever said to me. I'm crying even more. Oops, I didn't mean to make you guys cry. I'm just really grateful for you all. If it wasn't for you guys, I would have been dead right now. Wait, what? Yeah, haha, I was struggling so much back then. 
I wanted to end my life. Okay, this is getting too deep. And it's already 12 a.m.? I'm glad you're still here, Lauren. Our group wouldn't be complete without you, Yap. If the multiverse actually exists, we better be friends in everyone. Now you guys are making me tear up. Ho 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 paper. We should all go to sleep. I agree with Reese we'll talk tomorrow. All right, good night, guys. Nighty night, everyone. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night, babe. Good night. In the morning. Good morning, everyone. You have to be kidding me, it's not 8 o'clock. I don't want to wait for you guys to wake up. Oh, never mind. Well, good morning, guys. Good morning, Xavier. Surprise! Wait, what is this a joke? Am I dreaming? Nope, this is 100% real, Xavier. I refuse to believe this is real. Pinch yourself, idiot. Oh, oh my gosh, this is real. Haha, <laughs> yep, real. Gosh, I missed your laugh, Mel. We'll give you guys some privacy. Yeah, have fun. This is your chance, Xavier. Do it before you're too late. What are they talking about? Um, I don't know. Oh, okay, so it's been a long time since we last talked. Mel, I need to tell you something. Oh, uh, what is it? Xavier, are you there, Xavier, Xavier? How what? You were about to tell me something. Oh, right, I'm so sorry, Mel. It's fine, what were you gonna tell me, though? Um, never mind. What were you gonna say? Before I interrupted you, I'm also sorry for that, oh. Um, okay, I was gonna ask what happened while I was gone. Oh, I didn't know I ignored everyone after you left. Wait, you did what? Nothing. Xavier, do you really care about me? Yes, of course. Why would you even think to ask me that? I know you have something in your head. That's been bothering you. I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Please, Xavier, just tell me. I want to make sure you're okay. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Wait, really, I... I like you. I'm so sorry. I completely understand if you don't feel the same. I just had to get it off my chest. Even if you don't feel the same way about me. I hope we can still be friends. Who said I didn't like you? Wait, you like me more than a friend. Haha, <laughs> of course. This is just... Surprising for sure. I wasn't expecting you to confess to me. Ha ha, yeah, I'll call everyone back. Wait, what's this mean? We're dating? Oh, um, why'd you ask? Well, because I'm really not that comfortable with the idea that my childhood best friend is now my boyfriend. Well, I can wait for you until you're comfortable with the idea. Thank you so much, Xavier. For now, we should remain friends. Of course, now let me go get the others. Okay. I wonder what our kid would look like if we ever have one. Wait, why am I even thinking about that? Oh, hi, guys. Hi. Sup. Hello. So, how did it go with Yo and Xavier? Not even a hi, Reese. Later, so how did it go? I won't tell until you say hi. Mel, you want me to say that just to tell me what happened? It's just one word. Okay, Jesus Christ, hello, Mel. He he, okay. So, wait a minute, where's Xavier? I guess my dude died. So, what happened with you and Xavier? Well, did he confess? I. Are you guys dating? Um. Do you like him? Let her explain. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we got carried away. So what did happen? Oh, look, Xavier's here. Maybe I should explain. Oh, hey, dude. Explain what exactly? What happened between you and Mel? Are you guys now dating? Does she like you? You guys are so annoying. Since Mel won't explain, Xavier, you're gonna explain. Wait, why me? Are you dumb? No, Mel, why don't you explain? Oh my lord, it's time to go to bed. It is. Yes. Then I have to go to see you guys. Melody. Xavier. What happened? How are we supposed to know? I was so excited if they don't tell us, I swear. If they don't tell us, I swear. Calm down, babe. They're just getting comfortable after a long time of not seeing each other. Yeah, it's been so long. I guess you're right. Imagine how Xavier would be like if Mel went away for a year. Hell no, I don't want to. I'm tired of being tired. Can we just play a game? Sure, I'm down. I got nothing better to do anyway. I'm in. Let's play Adopt Me. Two weeks later. Hey guys, oh right, I gotta wait. I wanna watch cute cat videos. Cute cat videos? Oh, hi Xavier. Hello, why were you talking to yourself about cute cat videos? Oh, I just wanted to watch cute cat videos. But you came, so I guess not anymore. You can go watch your cat videos. I'm fine with that. But I want to stay here and talk to you. Oh, okay. Speaking of cats, don't you have a cat? Yeah, you remembered. 
Despite the fact you only told me once two months ago. Yes, yes, I do remember. What's its name again? His name is Star. Ah, cute. How old is he? Two months old, silly. Oh, right. Anyway, how are you doing? Great, actually, do you want to play Da Hood? Sure, but let's wait for everyone else's so we can invite them. Oh, okay. I wonder what is Archer doing now? I want I to want hang to out hang with out Xavier with alone, just him and me. Melody, what are you thinking? No, no, if I want to hang out with him alone, I just have to tell him how. What are you talking about? Oh, my dad, did I say that out loud? I am so sorry. Oh, no, it's fine now. Were you talking about me, huh? You said you wanted to hang out alone with him. And we're sort of together alone already. Right, I was gonna tell you I wanted to play Da Hood alone with you. We can I'd love to. Really a great join me. I'm still waiting for you, Mel. They wanted to play just two. Probably not now where the freak is everyone. Wake up, busters. Hey, guy. Agree, stop. I just said hey. Bar, 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 bar. Oh, hey, babe. Weird was it something I did? No, probably not. I swear we always get interrupted. Haha, <laughs> yeah, but we can hang out tomorrow. Rachel, so? Think I'm comfortable. How, what do you mean? I'm comfortable with you being my boyfriend. Wait, what are you for real? Of course, why would I be lying about this? I just can't believe it. I've had the biggest crush on you for years. And now you're finally me girlfriend. Well, I just can't believe that you pulled a hot chick like me. Oh, shut it, you. Haha, <laughs> it's true you aren't declining it. Wow, I love your car, Simon. Can't believe you got this car as a gift. Oh, come on, guys. You know who am I? My dad will buy everything that I like. I'm so jealous of you. I'm honest. Ha, <laughs> don't be like that. I know you're rich, too. But my dad is very strict. He won't let me buy a car. Poor you. Shut up, dude. By the way, come on, we're late. Oh, my God. Look at this car. It's so beautiful. I've never been in a luxury car. Rich people are happy. I'll forget about it, I need to go. Bryce, fall and scratch Simon's car! Ouch, my knee. Oh my god, what am I doing? No way, what do I do now? Oh look who is this broke. You scratch car Simon's car. No, not me, I'm not. Don't lie to me, I've seen you do it. No, no, please, I won't have enough money to pay for this car. I know, but Simon is my friend. I need to tell him. No, I'm begging you. I will do everything you say. Just don't tell him. Really? I promise, I'm not lying. Then I need you to do my homework for me. W what? Come on, otherwise I will tell Simon this. Okay, I will do it. I don't, I even, don't even know, know who, who is she. she. Good, see you tomorrow. Oh gosh, why am I getting into this? And then I told him that. Ah! W what happened? What do you see, cockroaches? My car, who did this? Phew, I thought you saw cockroaches. Someone scratched my car. No way. Oh no, it can't be tomorrow I have to pick up my stepsister from Australia. This car can't be that bad. Chill dude, you can fix it from now until tomorrow. There are 12 hours left. Javier is right, calm down dude. I know, but I will not tolerate anyone who dares to damage my car. We'll find that person later. Fine. On the street. Poor me so, unlucky. I don't want to do this. Um, excuse me. Ah, uh, yes. I'm sorry if I bothered you, but I've been calling you for a while now. And you haven't answered. Oh, really? I'm sorry. I'm just thinking. No, no. You don't need to say sorry. I just want to ask for your help. Okay. What can I help you? Actually, I'm not from here. I came here earlier than planned. I planned to surprise my dad. But... What happened? My backpack has been robbed and my phone is also in that stolen bag so I can't call my dad. Oh my god. As you can see, I'm homeless now. Can you help me? I just want something to eat. I tried asking a lot of people but they thought I was lying. Of course, I can help you. But I don't have money in here. Can you come with me? Of course I can. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh shoot. Oh my god, somebody help. Oh my god, where's my phone? I need to call 911. 911, I need your help. Someone has an accident here, please help. After two hours! How is she, Doc? Luckily, 
He wasn't seriously injured, but he lost a lot of blood. We finished the surgery, don't worry. Phew, thank you, doc. So, are you his family member? No, I don't even know who is he. It's so hard, we can't find his phone. Looks like he's not from here. He doesn't have any money on him either. Oh no, what do I do now? Can you pay the hospital fees? W what? I, I can't. It's too hard for us. There's no one to pay for the hospital. We'll have to get out of here. What? No way. You can't do that. You guys are doctors. But we also do this for a living. Surgery took a lot of effort from the doctors. The blood reserve in the hospital is about to run out. Ugh, don't we have another way? I'm sorry, no. Fine, I will be the one to pay. Great, thank you so much. Guess, Guess I'll, I'll have, have to go, to go hungry, hungry this, this year. year. 15 minutes later. Hoo hoo hoo, it's $1,000. My savings are gone. I don't want to live anymore. You don't do that. I can't do anything for you now. Ah, you wake up? Yes, like 10 minutes ago. So, why don't you say anything? Because I just want to look closely at the face of the person who saved me. F fine, I'll call the doc. Thank you. Then Bryce took care of Louie, two months after at Bryce's house. Don't laugh at me, this is just my rented room. Oh no, I think it's cute, cozy. Thank you, you can sit on my bed and wait a bit. I'll cook something for you. Thank you so much. By the way, I'm Bryce, what's your name? Um, my name is Louis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, does that bother you too much? Ha ah, no, you are the second person I cook for. Wow really, so the person you used to cook for is your best friend? Ha ah, no, actually it's my mom. I don't have a friend. What? It can't be, you're good person. Ha ah, ha, thank you but as you can see, I'm poor. So what? Whether you are rich or poor has nothing to do with your personality. Wow, if everyone can think like you, that's great. Oh come on, I will be your friend. Haha, ha, thank you so much. I'm not kidding, I am a very honest person. But you are not from here, if I have to leave a close friend I will be very sad. Oh you're right. Haha, ha, but we can text each other. Here, enjoy your food. Bryce, bring food to Louie? Oh wow, look at this, thank you. You're welcome. You cook extremely well, better than any restaurant I've been to. Wow, that means you are very rich? I uh, don't care about that, just talk about you. Haha, <laughs> by the way I have a phone, you can call to your dad. Oh my, I almost forgot it. Here. Thanks. Dad it's me Louis. I know you're surprised but my bag was stolen. I was very confused luckily there was a guy for me to stay. Aha, uh -huh, yes my address. Okay wait for me. 15 minutes later. My dad asked his personal driver to pick me up. Don't worry. I will contact you as soon as I have a new phone. Okay I'll waiting for you. Here is it, see you soon. Wait, I have one more thing. Oh, my dad is still very worried about me. What do you mean? He gave the driver a lot of money to buy things for me. Oh here, take this. What them? This is the money I paid for the pasta. Just now thanks again. No 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 I can't take this. This is too much. Shh don't say anything else. Okay. I do what I want to do. But I. No. If you don't receive it. I will be very sad. No, I mean, won't you give me the money and walk away? Huh. Like I said, I don't have any friends so. Uh, I just want to be friend with you. I don't need that money. I just hope you don't leave me like everyone else. Oh my look at you Bryce. You're my friend. If it weren't for you, I would definitely be lost here forever. I will get back to you. This money is just my pocket money. What? So bye see you soon. W wait oh my what do I do with this money? Um 1 2 3 4 5 100 1000. 10 dollars million. No 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 it can't be. I will count them again. After that Bryce counted it until the next morning. I'm not dreaming it's really 10 dollars million. I need to pay him back. Oh my god. It's 7 am already. Oh no. 
I forgot to do my homework and his homework. Oh, or should I take the day off today? Oh no, I can't. There is a test today. I'm so done. At the school! Sure is he. It's too late. The teacher will definitely punish me if my homework is not done. I'm here. Finally, give me that. I don't have a free time right now. But wait. Shut up. I'll give you another homework. Do it if not, then you know what happened. But I haven't done your homework yet. After the class! He dared to trick me. Dang it, I was punished by the teacher. It's all his fault. Simon, I have to tell you something. Oh, uh, who the hell are you? Why would you dare raise your voice at him? Oh, uh, sorry, but I have something important to say. Fine, fine, just say it. I know who broke your car. What? Say it who? It's a, uh, I don't know his name. I don't have time for this. Show me his face. He dresses poorly, doesn't talk much, and sits in the library all day. What? It's Bryce. I know him, I know him. He's the poorest guy in the school. I need to find him. In the library! I know that she definitely met Simon and told him everything. What can I do now? Maybe I should apologize to him and accept compensation. Hey you, a uh, Bryce, right? Uh, uh, they're, they're coming. coming. Yes, what's wrong? Huh, what's wrong? Are you stupid or something? Let's... Silent! This is a library get out of here! I hate that old granny. Come with us, poor kid. F fine. So... I'm so sorry I made the mistake of leaving without coming back to apologize to you. I was too afraid to pay a large sum of money. Now I can pay you compensation, so forgive me. Wow, he speaks faster than the speed of an airplane. Are you a rapper? Shut up you old. What do you mean indemnification? Does it look like I need it? W what? It's just a scratch anyway and I'm done with it. Oh thank you. What are you going to let him go? Nope, I really hate people who run away after making mistakes. I wonder if I didn't know he did it, then he would have run away, right? Yeah, you're right. No, I didn't mean that. I'm just too poor that I don't dare. So why do you dare to claim to be able to pay me today? I just... Hey, what's going on in here? Fuck, Palmer, nothing. Palmer? Palmer? Is it, Is the, it the school's, school's hot, hot girl? girl? I see you guys are bullying him. No way, we never do that. Haha, <laughs> right? Javier, Catherine. Ah, yes, we never do that, right, Bryce? Why, yes. They don't do anything to me. Great. Then can you come with me, Bryce? Why me? I see you all day sitting at the library. You must know very well about books. Nah, I don't know that. Ugh, I think I gotta go. Bye. Wow, he run too fast. Excuse me, Poma. Can I ask you something? Okay. Tonight there is a welcome party for my stepsister at my house. Do you mind if I invite you to attend? But I don't know who your sister is and it feels more like a family party. I know, I've invited a lot of friends to come. Just come with us, girl. It's really fun. Yeah, we are all invited to attend. So fine, I will join. Yes, I mean see you tonight. At Bryce's house. Phew, I think my heart fell out. What I hate the most is the bullying cases at school. How, huh, who is this? Hello, Bryce. It's me, Louie. Louie, oh my, you finally contacted me. How do I forget? Do you have a free time? Today? Yeah. I want to go hang out with you. I've never been to this city so I need a guide. Haha, <laughs> as you wish. Tonight we have a party. Do you wanna join? Party? Me? Oh hell nah. I think I can't. Why? I don't have nice clothes to attend. Gosh, it's just a small matter. I can take care of it. Really? Will you lend me your stuff? No, no dude. I will buy for you new stuff. What? No. See ya. Wait, Louie, I already have your money. He never listens to me. 15 minutes later. Get on the car, dude. Wow, this car looks so familiar. Oh really? This is my stepbrother's car. He said that this car originally belonged to me. My dad bought it for me, but unfortunately it got a little scratched. W what? Why does it sound so familiar? Come on, we don't have time. 8 p.m. is the party. Oh, okay. Two hours later. Oh, wow, you looking so good, dude. If I were a girl, I would flirt with you right away. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, you really delicious. 8 p.m. at the party. Where is your step, bro? Forget about him. I don't like him. What? I thought your relationship's so good. He's very proud of himself for making money. While I asked to buy a diamond ring for me, he didn't buy it. If he doesn't buy it, that's fine. But he even told his father not to spoil me like that. 
My father really liked him so he gave him the car I was driving while. Well. He must be very rich. Yeah. I mean he's only two years older than us. Shut up, Palmer is coming and I don't want to look scowling. Oh okay, sorry. Um hi. Oh my, Palmer here you are we're looking for you. You don't know, Palmer. Simon took two hours to choose outfit that suit you. Don't say that guys. What do you mean? I don't get it. I mean, I like you. The main character of the party is here. What, Louis? What there's Simon? Simon is your step bro? Yeah, you know him. I'm the one who scratched your car. Oh my, ha ha ha. It is coincidence. Thanks to this scratch I got to know you. Aren't you mad at me? Simon was so angry. Nah I'm not, just ignore him. Simon is still just daddy's little boy. What are you guys whispering? Nothing much. I would like to introduce to everyone the benefactor who saved me. Hey don't say like that. I'm just telling the truth. If it weren't for him I would have been lost in this vast city Chi Chi. You better get lost. Simon I think you can't say that. I don't care. His name is Bryce. Bryce? Bryce, you are so kind how did you help him? He saved me and he cooked for me. Oh? Impossible. I don't accept him to join this party. This party is for me and he is my guest. You can't chase him away. But this is my house. My house, my rules. Oh, you can't do that, Simon. I also need to thank him for helping Louis. Thank you so much, Bryce. If it weren't for you, Louis would probably be in danger. No, it's not a big deal, sir. Haha, <laughs> don't mention it. Just call me Mr. Wilson. Uh, I hate you all. Oops, I think I need to go. Me too. Simon is too childish. Forgive me. Ah, it's okay. I already told you, Dad. Haha, <laughs> I remember it now. Please enjoy your party. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. You're really cool today, Bryce. Oh, thank you. It's because Louis helped me. I see, hum. Can I talk to you in private, Bryce? Ha, huh, are you sure? Haha, <laughs> why not? Louis, I will be behind you, okay? Bryce, can you be my boyfriend? What? Don't be so surprised. I've been keeping an eye on you for a long time. You are very kind but don't talk much. I tried to talk to you five, six times already. But you always avoid my gaze and disappear. Now that I can tell you it's also a blessing. Wait, wait. This is too sudden for me. I know, I know. Take your time. I'm sorry, maybe I can't be your boyfriend. W-Y. You haven't even thought about one minute. I don't know why, but I can't be your boyfriend, that's it. Oh okay. I'm sorry Palmer, you will definitely meet someone you really love. Yeah thank you. How dare you talk to her? What are you doing Simon? What happened? I just talked to my dad, Bryce, who threw water on you. It's me, so what? What did I do wrong? You took Palmer from me, she's mine, I like her. What? What the, but I'm not doing anything. Stop that Simon, are you taking your anger out on him for not flirting with me? Yeah, you're my girlfriend. No, I'm not. Yes, you're, if you refuse me, I will beat Bryce up. Calm down, Simon. He go too far. I will never forgive him. I will bully him until he disappears. Shut up, Simon, before I have to teach you how to be a gentleman. Shut your mouth. I hate you. You're nothing for me. You are a nuisance. I wish you were deep. Don't you dare to say that to him. You, you hit me. You're so done. Simon, Daddy Hoo 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 Louie hits me. He colluded with his friends to bully me. I am not. Yes, you're. I don't want a sister like you. Piss off. Dad, it's always fault you. Enough, Simon. Oh my God, you make me so embarrassed. I'm easy with you because you are young. But what are you doing right now? Crying and demanding to hit others when you are the one causing trouble. Hey, Dad, what are you talking about? I'm not. I heard enough. Simon, you're grounded. What? No way. I'm grounded. It's all their fault, not me. Get out. I hate you all, you. Oh my. I don't like this. Oh. I'm so, so, so sorry, Bryce. No. I'm the one apologizing. I hit Simon. You protected Louis, so it's not wrong. I have to go inside and talk to Simon. Please keep talking. Okay, Dad. I'll take you to change dress. Luckily, I bought you five outfits. Ha, thank you. Anyway, thanks, Palmer. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. Why are you rejecting Palmer? What? What do you mean? A girl and a boy talking privately. What else? Ha <laughs> ha, 
You're right, but how do you know I refuse? Look at her sad face. Yeah, you're right. Then why? I think I have a crush on someone else. Wow, really? Who is she? You said that if you were a girl you would definitely flirt with me, right? Yeah. But I like boys. W what really? Yeah, he, can I be your boyfriend? Oh my god. This is the most shocking news since I came here. But I don't hate it. If you don't like me, then fine. No, no, I really like you. I really want to be your boyfriend. Really? Yes. I just hope this isn't a dream. So am I. You wanna go with me? So am I. Why are you serious? You already have $10 million now you are a millionaire. You and I will live somewhere else together away from my annoying little brother. Yes, if you don't mind me. I love you so much, Bryce. I love you too, Louie. After that, they two went to Australia together and set up their own company there. Sit still, love will come by itself. On Discord. That was a good game, bestie. I know, right? Anyway, it's almost lunchtime. And you said you would come to my house, remember? Of course. How can I forget? I'm getting ready. Are your parents home? I'm always nervous when I meet people's parents. No, my mom is always on business trip and my dad wouldn't be home until 6. Okay, I'm on my way. 30 minutes later at Dream's house. Hello, sweetheart. Dad, why are you home this early? You wouldn't believe this, but my office is on fire. What the? Are you okay? I'm fine. I was outside smoking and my colleagues ran out of the building. Are you sure that wasn't you? It wasn't me, what do you think? Anyway, wanna go out and grab some lunch? No, Dad. My friend is coming over and we're having lunch together. Oh, my little girl has abandoned me. Stop, Dad. I am a university student now. Well, okay. Oh, she's here? Oh no, I haven't put on my shoes. And they're upstairs. Don't worry. I'll go get the door and maybe have a little chat with your friend. Thanks, Dad. Be right back. Hi there, you are. Hi, you must be Dream's brother. My name is Rory, her friend. We go to the same university. Well, I am Bryson, but I am her dad, not her brother. Oh my god, I am so sorry. You look so young. Thank you. I'm done. Oh, hi, Dream. Hi, Rory. Let's go. Okay, goodbye, Dream's dad. Bye, dad. Bye, girls. They go to the Taco Bell. Hey, can I ask you why do you get nervous when you have to meet people's parents? Well, I think it was because of my dad. He was really strict. He always wanted me to be the perfect kid in everybody's eyes. Therefore, every time I meet someone's parents, especially their dad, I can't help but thinking if they want to see me being perfect. Would they be disappointed if I am not perfect? Wow, that's sad. You must have been suffering from anxiety. Yeah. That's why my parents got divorced and I live with my mom. So did you feel uncomfortable when you had seen my dad? Well, surprisingly, I felt completely good. For real? Yeah, I think it's because he's so young. I thought he was your brother. Oh, I know. He's so young, right? How old is he? He's 37. Well, you mean, he had you when he was 17. Yeah. How old is your mom then? She's three years older than him. Oh, so he likes older women? Girl, why do you care about his type? Nothing, just asking. Well, it's the first time I feel calm around my friend's parents so I want to know him more. Back to Dream's house. Dad, I'm home. Hi, sir. Please just call me Bryson. Me and Rory will be playing in my room. And can her stay over tonight, Dad? Of course, be my guest. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, um, Bryson. Have fun, girls. In Dream's room. Oh no, I forgot to buy some snacks. Want me to go with you? No, I'll go to the convenience store in the corner of the street real quick. Wait for me. Okay then. Hum, it's kinda boring. Maybe I should go downstairs and get to know Bryson a little bit. I feel so warm around him. Hi. Hi, are you bored? Dream will come back soon. Yeah. I don't want to touch anything in her room when she's not there so. Oh, why do you think that? Well, my dad taught me that touching people's thing without their supervising is bad. Your dad must be very, very strict, huh? Yeah, my parents got divorced. 
I haven't talked to him for a long time but what he had always taught me is still in my mind. He doesn't know he has such a good kid. Maybe he should go a little easier on you. Yeah, my mom thinks so too. So, your wife, she's not around? Yeah, she is a workaholic. Can't blame her, right? Yeah, you know what? Yes? I really like talking to you. Oh, really? Yeah, you are really mature compared to your age. Well, I think that's a blessing. Hey, I bought your favorite snacks. Thank you. Next time when I come over, I'll buy some in case you leave me alone like this. Lol, sorry. I'm here now. Yeah, let's go upstairs. She's, She's cute. cute. One day at the supermarket. Oh, hi, Rory. Oh, Bryson. Hi. Um, I know this is weird, but I forgot my house key at home. A dream always tells me to put all the key together. Now I know why. Do you want to grab some coffee with me when you're done your shopping? You know, so just I'd have someone to talk to while waiting for Dream. Oh, of course. It's Dream Spa Day, isn't it? Yeah, thank you. Later at the coffee shop, Rory and Bryson have a deep conversation. They're so into each other that they'll forget the time. Oh no, what time is it? It's 8 p.m. already. I can't believe we have been talking for that long. Yeah, we should go home. I'll take you home. Thank you. At Rory's house. This is where I live. Okay, well, see you. Oh, I'm sorry, I... Please don't stop. Hum, Dad's forgotten his key inside the house again. I guess he'll be home at any time. Oh, Dad, I told you to put all your key together. Oh, ha ha I... Wait, is that lipstick stain in your mouth? Oh, what? Um, no, I just have had some spaghetti. Okay, I'm going to sleep. I had a long day. Okay, good night, sweetheart. Good night, Dad. Midnight, Bryson text Rory. I think this is wrong. You are my daughter's friend. I don't want to let this go, Bryson. I like you. I don't know why, but I feel so calm when I am around you. Don't you feel the same? I do, but... She doesn't have to know about this. Few months later. Morning dreams. Morning, Chase. It's still early, huh? Our class starts in half an hour. Wanna go to the cafeteria? Yeah, sure. At the cafeteria. How was your last semester? Good, and you? Not as good as I expected. Well, you can try harder this semester. Yeah, hey, I'm telling you this, but you have to promise me that you will stay calm. What? You sound serious. Because I am. Okay, I promise. I think I saw Rory's dating with someone. What? She doesn't tell me. Chill, chill. One is by her after class. Hell yeah. We have to know whom she's dating with. After class! Goodbye, Rory. Goodbye, Chase. Goodbye, girls. Goodbye, Bestie. Goodbye, Chase. Let's go. Hey, do you see that? Yeah. That boy looks a little too old for her. Wait, that's my dad. What? Are you being for real? Yeah, I know that's my dad. OMG, so she's. I have to go there and get them. Wait. Where do you want to go today? Well, I heard there's a new cafe opening. Hello? Dream, wait. Dream. OMG, bestie. Don't bestie me. Are you dating my dad? No, you're misunderstanding. No, Rory. I know you have been dating this man. I just didn't know that he is Dream's father. Can you let me explain? Explain what? Explain why you've decided to be a homewrecker? And dad, why are you cheating on mom? Can we go home and I will explain it to you? Yeah, Dream, I think you should go home with your dad and talk about it. Fine, but I am not going with you. You go home too, sorry Rory. I'll talk to Dream by myself. Yeah, I think that's what we should do. Later at Dream's house. Okay, please explain it now, dad. First of all, I know falling in love with Rory is a big mistake. The age gap is too big and she's your friend but I can't help it, I love her for real. That's not a good excuse for you to cheat on mom. This is bullshit. And I am about to talk about this. Me and your mom, we don't love each other. What are you talking about now? She is also not your biological mother. What? I was 17 in love with a girl, but she didn't want to get married or have a family with me when I found out that she was pregnant with my child. I was so 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 happy, but she decided to leave as soon as she gave birth to you. I still don't know where she is, and it's been 20 years. I want to move on. What about mom? 
Ugh, I don't know. Who is she? She was my boss. We got married for her green card. She has her own love. What? So I am not her love? She doesn't have kids, dream. And she loves you just like her own child. I can't take this. Hello, honey. Mom, are you my real mom? What's wrong? Why are you calling me to ask me this? Dad has cheated on you and he told me that you are not my biological mother. Oh, poor kid. So you have known everything? Is that the truth? Listen, Dream, you are a miracle to me. I can't have kids, and I fell in love with you at the fist sight. I know I don't spend much time for you these years, but I want you to know that I love you so much. And your dad, he's a good guy. He has taken good care of you. I'm so sorry that you have to figure things out this way. But when Bryson has a chance to be happy, I hope that you can support him. But he's dating my friend mom. Oh honey, you're in such a complicated situation. I am so sorry. My business trip is two weeks left. Do you want to come to me? Yes, please mom. Okay, I'll book your ticket. Two weeks later. Dream, I miss you so much. Hi dad. Hi Bryson. Hi July. How are you lately, Dream? I'm good dad. I'll leave you two sometimes alone. So, how are you, Dad? I am sorry, I know I hurted your feelings. It's okay, I have thought it through. I want to support you and Rory. Really? Dream I have stopped. No, Dad, I want you to be happy too. I am not happy when you are not. Hello? Dream, you have been back in town? Yes, well, I heard that you and my dad has broken up. Yeah, we think that's the best thing to do. But that doesn't make us the same as we used to be, you know. I know. I just want to know if you are fine. Goodbye, Dream. Goodbye, Rory. 